This is a box full of rocks that I've painted. I'm most excited about with having a first day bag that will be super helpful. So as you can tell, I am packing, we are moving. I wanted to share some packing tips with you guys. One of the things that I like to do is save light things like Kleenexes and paper towels for the end, like stash them somewhere and you can use them as filler on the top. When you have a box that's heavy but you're like, oh, I still need to put more in it, that's something good to do with those. And the reason you wanna fill your boxes when they're closed off, and actually there's my sign. I will show you more about those signs in a bit. But when it's closed off, you want to be able to set more boxes on top of it. And this one's going to sink in because the center isn't filled. But I did my best. I tried to get it um, pretty filled. I think that's going to be too high. So that's, that's kind of the best I've got. I've got another tip for you. All right. So this is a tiny, tiny box. You can see the one below it is much, much larger. Uh, this little tiny one, though, is pretty heavy. This is a box full of rocks that I've painted. And I use them at art sales and art festivals to block off my, my artwork so people don't trip on it. So yeah, if you have heavy things like you're packing rocks, make sure you put those in little, little tiny boxes so that they're not too heavy. One of the things I'm most excited about with uh, packing and what's going on is this chart right here. I made it up and you can see there's the middle floor, the top floor, and then the basement. And I'm labeling all of the boxes with what's inside of them, of course, but more importantly for the movers, these little signs that say uh, kitchen and are color coded for which room they're going to. The bedroom number one is all of the stuff that we'll need the first week, uh, maybe a little longer. And bedroom two will be things that we won't need for a while. So like extra bedding. Bedroom one is the important stuff. Bedroom two is less important. The studio and then studio storage is the blue. Uh, Living room one is, I guess it doesn't really have much. Living room two is books and kitchen. And then I'll show you the boxes. Most all of the boxes upstairs are labeled. They're not all closed, but uh, a lot of them are labeled. So you can see the green, the neon green there. And I think it should be a good strategy. I'm excited to see it. And even furniture, I have done things where like I've taped the bottom of the shelves and like they're attached to the bottoms. Hey guys, I'm back with more packing tips. One of my other tips is having a first day bag that will be super helpful. I know I've shown you guys that I'm doing the labeling. I just attached this to the bag. This bag has toilet paper, so we will have toilet paper the first day, paper towels, a shower curtain. I feel like that's something to be really easy to forget. Uh, and then we also have our towels. I have the brown and black ones for my hair and then the red one for my husband. Um, so things like that and bedding and things that you'll need the first 24 hours. I also will have my backpack with like my computer and all the stuff that I use on a regular basis. Just did this little makeup bag. It has a uh, concealer and foundation. Then I have, I'm not sure what I'll take for lotion and face wash actually. So I haven't done this part yet. You can wrap your everyday dishes. Sorry, the dishwasher's going, so my voice might be weird. But uh, wrap your dishes in your towels. So these are like the last dishes I'm wrapping and they'll be the first ones that will open when we get to the new house. So this box says, first on it it's upside down for you guys but this will be the first box that we open when we get there as far as kitchen stuff goes and then we'll have our like a plate for each of us and i'm doing like a everything else is in the dishwasher but the stuff that we used for the last meal here we'll use for the first meal there 